I'm Megan McDavid. This is Look News on Demand for February 21st. Hunting and fishing here in New York may be about to get cheaper. Governor Andrew Cuomo has proposed a plan to cut the price of licenses in an effort to boost the economy. Under the governor's plan, fishing licenses for New Yorkers would drop from $29 to $25, and hunting licenses would be slashed from $29 down to $22. Fees would also be dropped considerably for out-of-staters. Licenses would be good for the whole year instead of just for the season. The governor says outdoor sports spur some of $8.1 billion of economic activity annually. Saratoga Springs man has been arrested for a role in selling cocaine in the spa city. 56-year-old Danette Clark is just the latest drug-related arrest. Clark was charged with felony conspiracy after he was implicated as someone who has been involved with narcotics dealers. The city of Saratoga Springs is considering a plan that would see the police department split into two. Because of the cramped conditions, the city is discussing moving the 11-member investigation unit from the basement level of the police department to the second floor of City Hall. The printing presses are about to come to a halt for two local weekly newspapers. The Spotlight Newspaper Company says because of declining ad revenue and rising costs, they are suspending their Saratoga and Schenectady County editions effective immediately. The news was announced via an editorial on the newspaper's website. The South Glens Falls community and beyond enjoying a slice of pie and more Thursday as hundreds showed their support for South High Marathon dancers. Maud's Kitchen on Route 9 in South Glens Falls held its second annual dessert fundraiser for $3. Customers got to choose a homemade dessert and coffee with 100% of profits going to the South High Marathon dance. Last year, the event made over $1,000 and Maud's owner, Sherry Granger, hopes to do even better this year. I make 200 um, different desserts for people and then I have family and friends and the regular customers that bring desserts that I had phone calls and emails people I didn't even know wanted to make a dessert and it's unbelievable the response but honestly I'm not real surprised because that's South Glens Falls. The desserts are made by mods and donated by community members. And that's all for this web edition. You can catch us weeknights at 5.36 and 10 p.m. We're on Time Warner Cable Channels 8 and 508.